Hi everybody, it's Patty and Debbie from Print and Pixel Studio. And um, we have a fun video today because it's an idea that Debbie came up with and oh, we love it so much. It really gives such a great look to your uh, tags and journal papers and anything else that you uh, can think you might want to try it on. Um, this is um, a little uh, folio that she made up this morning. In fact, it's still kind of wet. It needs to sit under a book for a little while because it's curling a little bit, but that'll be taken care of uh, once it sits overnight under a book. But anyway, um, <clears throat> it's really cute. Now, I'm going to hold this up. I hope that you guys can see the texture on this. Um, she has taken a plain... Uh, paper from our shop uh, that um, it's a double sheet fold in the middle paper um, excuse me and uh, put a tool over the top of it she's uh, decoupaged or I mean mod podged put the tool on and then lightly mod podged over that and the look and the feel that you get is so fabulous and it's just gorgeous I mean it's just, I, I like I say, I hope you could see this um, in the camera because I'm sure it doesn't do it justice, but it's really adorable. <clears throat> and then we have these little pins, where, little clips that we're um, going to be putting in the shop this Friday. We have an assortment of them um, on the back of the little, um, I forget what you call those, um, what do you call those little clips? <laughs> Here, Here we, we go, go again. Yeah. We don't know, but right. anyway, you do. <laughs> These little guys, <laughs> I want to call them bulldog clips, but I'm not positive. But anyway, so Let we have know. a bunch of, huh? <laughs> Let us know in the Yeah, comments. yeah. Um, we have some really cool stuff to decorate them with, and we're going to put them in the shop this weekend. But anyway, um, so here's another example. I You might, might have seen this last week. We did kind of a little preview of these. Um, this is a uh, two tags that she uh, created out of a kit that we have in the shop. <clears throat> I think it's called Vintage Rose or something like that. Mm -hmm. We'll link it below. And um, she took uh, uh, one of the pictures of, of the Rose Lady out of it. And what'd you do, Debbie? You cut it out and... Yeah, that I just made a window <coughs> and tag the tool. Um, we have tool coming out of our eyeballs because... Yeah, we have tons of tool. Mom likes tool, apparently. Because every time we go thrifting, she grabs tool. And I thought, we have to start using this because we need to make space to bring new stuff in. But that one is just a window made with tool. It's not actually... But you use two tags, right? Two tags yeah. glued together. <clears throat> and then the tool mm -hmm. is the window. Yeah. Um, and it gives such a great look. Yeah. It's so cute. Love it. <laughs> and then... Um, <clears throat> kind of an adaptation of the circles uh, that we made with the uh, wax paper. These are done with the tool. And again, such a great look. They're so cute. And I just wish you could see them in person because the detail with that tool is just fabulous. I hope you could see it. Yeah, it almost has like a fabric-y feel to yeah, it. Yeah, but to it, or right, or right. And it, but the it adds such a vintage touch to them. I mean, when you look at them, you, you just think they're really old. You know, it's really it's it's amazing what a little bit of that tool will do. And here she took a um, <clears throat> graph paper. And was this coffee dyed? Coffee yeah. Died, yeah. Okay. An and experiment. yeah, <laughs> and then put it put it, excuse me, put a piece of tool across the whole piece of paper. What a great look is this. How cute would this be in your journal? You know, you could do it on an eight and a half by 11 or any size, you know, that you wanted to, but it's really cute. And it's amazing because when you put it through there, um, through the Mod Podge, it almost has a, the book anyway, almost had, had a vinyl type vinyl feel, didn't feel. it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But we haven't finished this or anything. We haven't, we wanted to put something in here, and but it's, uh, and like I say, she just finished it. It's still even wet. And that's why it needs to sit overnight, clamped, and put under a book to uh, flatten it out. But, um, 
What was I going to say? Oh, but we wanted to use it today because we're going to show you how to put pockets in this. And um, let's see. Oh, yeah. And this is another one that she made, which is really cute. This was a um, uh, collage. collage yeah, tag that we have. And um, she put the tool over that. And then she added the little silk. Um, we don't have any of the real ones here, do we? The original? Yeah. This is what they were, and she's worked with them to make them, to make them this, which is really great looking. But anyway, really cute stuff. So it's my job because you know how she is. <laughs> she's camera shy, so <laughs> I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to uh, cover the pockets that we want to try put in, not try, but put in this um, little folio that she made a few minutes ago. So it's, these are also in our shop <clears throat> in the same kit. And um, it's just your standard corner pocket design. It has the little tabs on the back that you fold under. And we're not gonna, of course, cover those with fabric. We're just gonna do the face of the um, pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could think of it. <laughs> So basically, Deb, you got to guide me through this now. We just put Mod Podge on the pocket. Mm -hmm, the front pocket. Mm -hmm. oh, brush is kind of stiff. Okay, here we go. Is that enough? What do you think? A little bit more. More? Okay. Yeah. Okay. A little bit thicker. How's that? Is that mm -hmm. getting better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done these, so Debbie's kind of teaching me along with you guys. Okay. And I guess you have to pay kind of attention to the edges, to the right? Edges, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you're going to take your little piece of tool. <clears throat> well, that's not it. Here it is. Okay. And just kind of lay it on top okay. of it so it's covering. And I like to make it a little bit bigger than what I'm covering. Um, so you don't have so to worry, worry about, about yeah. um, edges and stuff. Okay, so we're just tapping it down, down. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I go over it with a light coating on top. I, I don't know that you have to, but this is what I've been. I just you, feel it's okay if it looks like that. Just okay. a light coating. Cause okay. It dries. No. Yeah. We're, once we do the light coating all over the top, I take a paper towel and kind of blot off oh, okay. any of the excess because excess, you'll get little areas where it seems to pool up a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Just for extra stick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then a little paper towel. Paper towel. <clears throat> I got one. Okay. Okay, and just lightly. Yeah, just kind of blot it and press okay. it into the pocket. Okay. Make sure it's. Oh, this is easy. Like that, right? Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. And then just and trim then off your just excess. Just trim off the. Yeah, edges. A bit of the little and guys, smaller yeah. circles or scissor circles. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of us can talk to me. Uh -uh. <laughs> Is that re a prerequisite for the job? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're both fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I want to get out of camera here. So you don't leave anything to turn under, you just clip right to the edge, right? Yeah, okay. Alrighty. So far, so good. Okay. And if you just lay the scissors almost like directly on the edge of the paper, kind of at an angle, you could get all the little. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like okay, that. yeah, that works out yeah. good. Yeah. And just kind of angle. Them. Instead of cutting straight down. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. much better. It takes all the little yeah, fringes get some of the stickies off. off. Yeah. yeah, it does. Normally, I think you'd want to let it dry and then trim it. But 
since we're kind of doing this live on camera. Yeah. Yeah, cute. Yeah, that makes, that works a lot better if you tilt it. Yeah, if you just kind of angle it. Yeah. And get all those little... <clears throat> yeah, the little... Yeah, and if you have any little straggly hairs uh -huh. like that, I um, when it's completely dry, you can even take a little sandpaper to the edges. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that too will take it off. Once it's dry, if it's too yeah. wet, no. Okay, oops, no, I got some more over here. I'm not doing a very good job. Because it's wet. Once it's dry, it's much easier. Yeah. Yeah, because even those are wet, you know? Yeah. So, you know, okay, let me let him sit over here while I do the other one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, it's easy enough to do. I mean, Super you know. easy. I'm doing it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what a cute idea. Clever. Very clever. And it, it's just amazing what it does for your papers. I mean, it's just the texture and the look it gives mm -hmm. is just really fabulous. Makes you want to think of, geez, what can I put this on? I know. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to be... Kind of reminds me of the same thing we did with the wax paper yes, circles. You know, this, I mean... Yeah. I feel like this is just as fun and mm -hmm. inventive. Yeah. Okay. Let me make sure I'm, yeah, okay. Let me, come on, buddy. Let's get back here a little bit. Yeah, I see what you mean about not trying to fit a piece exactly no, cut to fit. That would be a pain. This is the so way to much go. much easier, yeah. Especially since we have the tool to spare. <laughs> oh, I gotta figure out something to do with that hot pink one. We got a ton of that. Oh, I know, we do. <laughs> we found this when we first started this uh, this uh, YouTube channel. We had been at this thrift shop and we found this gorgeous um, cocktail dress, vintage. And of course, the dress was, you know, not in a wearable condition, but it had a lot of tool on it and um i just loved it i thought oh, i need a little more you're gonna go over the top oh that's so right yeah yeah, yeah that's what i that's what i forgot to do yeah okay so yeah that's why i like to go over the top just to double check to, double to make sure, make sure yeah good holding down okay so you're right i did i did forget that step i got so caught up in the bright pink tool that i forgot <laughs> Oh, I probably put too much on, huh? It doesn't matter because you're going to block, block okay. it off, remember? Okay. Okay. Just make sure the edges are really good. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. So anyway... <clears throat> back to the bright pink tool it was my job to cut it all off this dress oh my gosh I had no idea <laughs> how many yards of tool was on that thing I finally I cut off I got I don't know how much but I finally had to give it up and <laughs> mm -hmm. it was but it's so beautiful it's it's just gorgeous mm -hmm. the pink it would be so pretty on these yeah. but to try it and see one of these times okay so get this back in here and we're using the matte uh, Mod Podge mm -hmm. well that's drying for a minute I will bring up that <clears throat> Debbie went ahead and trimmed out some of these with the metallic gold and it really makes a difference it's brings out the, uh, that really makes them beautiful. Yeah. You know, it just adds that extra little zip Detail. to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go, tilting the scissors. Uh, 
Oh, I want to put this on something else down. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you tilt the scissors, sometimes you don't yeah. get it all. But it is better than just coming at it flat like normal. And like I say, when it dries, you can take a little sanding paper to the edges if you want. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it really makes it, that Mod Podge really makes it pretty um, heavy duty. I mean, substantial. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's not as fragile as it, right. as you would Which think. Which is nice for your pockets, too. You know, to yes. That extra. Right, right. Support. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about doing the gold pen on these, but I think since they're wet, it might not be a good idea. Do you think? Or do you think? This one's almost dry. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because I thought it would be kind of cute on the... Yeah. On the pockets. Yeah. If you hold it up to the light, you can see places that you missed. Yeah. <clears throat> but like you say, you can go over it. Yeah, once it's dry, it's a lot easier. To stitch. But look how cute that is. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. What did you say? It looks like bark cloth last time when we were Yeah, I, it kind of reminded me of that. But you know, now that I look at it now, it doesn't really no. remind me of that. It, it, it's... Maybe, I don't know, but it has such a great look to it. I was thinking the last time, when the last video we did where she brought this out, we didn't work on it, but where she um, kind of like previewed it, I thought it kind of reminded me of bark cloth, you know, from like the 40s that they used to use on drapes and furniture and mm -hmm. stuff. But I don't know, not now, today it doesn't. It's just got such a great little feel. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry we didn't put this under a book sooner, but we, it'll fix it, but it, don't worry if yours starts to turn up like this because it just needs to be laid flat for a while. Okay, so you think I should try the pen on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Who was dry? This guy. He's almost dry, huh? No, I this, think one? It's this one. Oh, right. Not the oh yeah, one this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. So again, with these pins, you want to put them kind of at an angle, too. Isn't mm -hmm. that how it worked for yeah. you? And rub along there. Yeah. I don't know. Am I getting it far enough in? I just do, you know, kind of the little edges of it. Yeah, I kind of I'm I'm worried that it's not dry enough. It's kind of yeah, picking, it picking it up. I think I should wait. I think it would be a good idea um, to wait on the gold pen until it was totally dry and then go over it because she had really good luck with it. Um, I can see here because these are not totally dry yet that it is picking up the fabric a little bit, but hers came out perfect. They're just you know they're just really really cute. Okay, should I glue some in? Sure. I was gonna say if I do, we probably oh, wouldn't be able me, to. Oh, you can glue that one in. Let me try to do the edge. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to wreck it. <laughs> I'm braver than you. I know. Okay. I think you just didn't. Your pin wasn't. Fully, right. Oh, it didn't have um, enough. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, do you want to wait and do this one? Well, this is going in our idea book anyway, so it doesn't have to be, both of them don't have to have gold on them, right? Sure. Or do you want me to wait? <laughs> <laughs> she wants me to wait. <laughs> I can tell. No. No. The way. no? No, you don't have okay. to. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and um, just glue this little guy in. Just put a little glue down on the folded edge like normal. Alrighty, and then just line him up wherever you want him on the paper here. You know what would have been cute, Debbie, if we'd have put lace down, and we still could. 
uh, laced down along the bottom because of the fact that these are pointy and they don't really oh, yeah. work. Yeah. But like I say, this is for our idea book, so it's not, you know, it's it's not like it's going to be. This is so we remember how to do this. Let me just grab a little piece of lace up here. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. And I was thinking that just a little piece of this lace along the bottom here would be really cute. Yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I should have done it before I put the, the uh, deal on, but it doesn't matter. Still cute. Put him down here. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Okay. 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 What? This pen, I think, is dying on its way out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Well, it's done a lot of. Yeah, we. It's been... done a lot of work. We can't yeah. complain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh -uh. Yeah, cute with the lace on there. Love it. So yeah, I think that is really cute. Trim him off so he's even with the page. You know, one of these little flowers would be cute on there too. Oh, I'm just getting so carried away here. Flowers, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's cute. Put a little tag in there. Look at I mean that's adorable. I guess I should show them before I show you. Really cute, but there's all kinds of stuff you could do to this. I could see it in my mind about different things you could play with this, but it just has that, ah, I don't know, I, I don't want to say granny feel, because I don't want you to think, you know, it's granny. granny. Well, I mean, it reminds <laughs> you of, not, not granny, but you know, it reminds you of back in the day, you know, going into somebody's house and they've got, you know, Real cool furniture. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it's, it, but it's cute. It's oh kind yeah. Of a mess because Ooh, that I'm good. Yeah. Is... Yeah, cute. Cute. I think if I had my druthers on the pockets, I, I like it without the gold. Don't you? Yeah. But we, now we these. To try it yeah. To well, see. I want to put it in the idea book because then we know. Do, mm -hmm. Would we like that or not? Um, the other thing is, I think these are fabulous with the gold, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted to try the pocket with the gold. Yeah. We had, that was our first, not my favorite thing, but maybe in the right. In the right uh, place, place it might be. It but I, right. I just that. feel like, I just feel like, mm -hmm. um, I like it without. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm going to glue this in anyway, because like I say, it's going in our idea book, and then we'll know. Did we like that gold? Hmm. No, we didn't. Not on the pocket, but on the other part we did. These dry pretty fast, too. Yeah. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just line him up on the corner there. I just am in love with these things. I think they are so cute. <laughs> what a cool idea, Deb. Mm. Really cool idea. And we have to find many more ideas with tool. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. 
This is a cute one, too. We have yards of it. It's got little, like, stars in it, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, that mm -hmm. one. We have that. This is cute, too. I oh, yeah, the little something. snowflake one. We have green. We have red. Oh, yeah, we found this great green. It's a old cocktail uh, uh, apron. Mm -hmm. Really cute. Really cute. We have tons of bridal veil. Yeah, <laughs> we have it. Yeah. We got your tool. Right? Yeah. Let me put this little piece of lace on here real quick. Um, but I just, what a clever idea. I just can't get over it. I just, it's one of my favorite things we've ever done. And it's so simple, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's great if you have antique or vintage tool. Uh, but if you don't, you know, you can get some really great looking tool. Um, well, if you can find it at the thrift shops, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. But if you can't and you want to... Uh, use it you can find it at you know joann's or any fabric store has it yeah yeah cute 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 perfect Let's see your little tags here Oh, let me see this little guy. He's cute. And there he's got my flower on it. I love that flower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super cute. Really cute. And very, very easy to do. And like I say, you can pick up, you know, you could buy that stuff by like eighth of a yard, you know, which is a lot mm -hmm. of tool. And um, you can have some fun with it too. But it's perfect on everything. We just love it. Really, really cute. And it adds a lot of strength to your uh, pages and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. I'll give you that guy because he needs to go under a... Oh, you know what? Where's the little clippies? Yeah, put these little um, clippies on him. Mm-hmm. And stick him in a book. But really cute stuff and a really neat idea. Oh, and before we sign off on the video, I wanted, or we, wanted to talk about uh, the faux vellum that we um, had been working on. I think some of you guys have seen that video uh, where we did the faux vellum process with the baby oil. And um, it turned out great. The paper looked fabulous, but it had one issue. It um, leaked onto other papers in if you put it in your journal. So we tried everything we could think of to um, get the, to get something that would absorb that excess oil. Nothing we tried worked. We tried uh, uh, baking soda, uh, soaked it, or let it set in baking soda for a week. Still, it, um, I mean, it started to absorb it, but still it leaked the oil. And um, so we kind of like gave up on that process. Then uh, we heard someone talking about using uh, the Rust-Oleum clear gloss that it sealed their papers and they um, used it. So we tried it and yes, it does seal the papers. I don't know if eventually it will leak off or not, but so far we haven't noticed any leakage. Um, but it's so toxic um, that we both got headaches from it and we sprayed it outside. So we're not gonna use it. Um, that process for us is a no. Uh, someone else uh, on YouTube is using it, and I can't remember. There's several people on there that are using it. I can't remember which video this is from, but you can Google it and find out, or go on YouTube and search and find out. But this is a piece of uh, tracing paper that's been sprayed with this. Um, it works. It's got a nice little crunch to it, and it's transparent. Um, I don't have a book here, but... It's transparent. You can see here on the table that you can see through it. Oh, thanks, Debbie. You can see it's very transparent. Um, it, it, I guess, looks like vellum. Um, you know, it's okay. Uh, it does run through the printer, and it stuff prints off on it, and we ran it through just like this. You don't have to put it on a, ba a back it to a cardstock or anything, and it printed off. Uh, you do have to let it set for quite a while for it to dry. Um, we tested it when it first came out. Right here, you can see it's smeared. Um, 
so this is this is workable. If you want to use this stuff, um, it works. Another viewer of ours recommended another um, uh, sealer that she uses, uh, but again, it's one you have to use outside, and um, it works for her. And um, if you want to try, uh, we'll try and find the name of that and put a little blurb about it in one of our videos so you could see it, uh, look it up. But um, I don't know. We just we just feel like it's not worth the trouble, right, Deb? Mm -hmm. It just it was it was too much to try to get the look of something that you know I don't know. It was just too much work. Um. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to mess with it anymore. But we do have uh, an idea um, about some wax paper treatment that we might try. We're going to research it thoroughly before we bring it up to you guys. But um, So there is a possibility for something. But anyway, so we're going to sign off now because the phone is running out of battery. And um, we thank you so much for watching. And please, please try this tool process because we know you'll love it. Bye for now.